With flooding becoming all too common along the Lake Ontario shoreline, New York State is aiming to spend its money before more damage happens. Another season's going by and we need to do something about it. We need to be more proactive. In the spring, the governor launched the Lake Ontario Resiliency and Economic Development Initiative, or READY, earmarking up to $300 million for communities. Time is of the essence. We are looking for the project ideas, the um, submittals by August 2nd. And by mid-September, we're going to have that list prioritized. State officials have already done site tours along the shoreline and drafted a preliminary list of potential projects. Wednesday, they held meetings with local leaders and stakeholders in several of those communities, including this one in Barker. I think at the moment we're brainstorming, so they should be putting forth any project that uh, they think has some value. The goal of the initiative is not just to bolster infrastructure and make it less susceptible to flooding and erosion, but to choose projects that will spur local economic growth. Places like Alcott, places like Wilson, their economies in large part exist around the lake. And whether it's fishing, whether it's you know tourism, whether it's restaurants, people coming in, when those beaches are closed, when people aren't coming in, there is a huge effect. The state says funding will be available to both private and public entities, although it will probably skew toward municipal projects. Wilson Lakeside market owner James Bowman says any project in his area will help make up for lost sales. I benefit from enhanced tourism, enhanced more people coming into the area. A ready commission will ultimately choose the projects and how the money is dispersed, but local governments will need to match 15% of the state funding. State Senator Rob Ort says that can be onerous, but potentially worthwhile for small municipalities. For some of these projects, it's never gonna, you're never going to have a better opportunity to get them done. Ryan Whalen, Spectrum News.